Have you ever been so disappointed in something that you're just like, wow, I wonder if there actually is anything worse, and then you look it up, and then there actually isn't? Oh my god. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your Lord of the Mitchell Shrine, and today, welcome back to the Vibe Sessions. We're actually going to be talking about Dragon Ball Legends today, uh, kind of. The main reason why is because uh, the battle hour is tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you join the live stream. We will be streaming that live 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. That is a long time. That, that's, that's a long time. That's five fucking hours. That is five fucking hours of... I, don't, I, I still don't know what the battle hour is. But I legit, I still don't know what the battle hour is. And I'm about to sit through five hours of it. All right. Sure. But um, that's tonight. In terms of today, in terms of this morning, the Zenkai Kale is just, oh my God. We were talking about it in stream last night, just how bad she is. And at, at one point I was looking at hero units and I looked at Hero Videl. Can you explain to me why Hero Videl has better cover cut than Zenkai Kale. Like, H Hero Videl gets 50% reduced damage and heals by 10% uh, during cover cut. That's literally more cover cut than and more healing than Kale has. I mean, Kale can heal with her green card, but I mean, like, in terms of her unique abilities. That one unique ability, which by the way, is Hero Videl's, I think, like, really only ability. She's got two unique abilities, but the other one I think is just like, strike damage. So, it's one of only two abilities. Kale has like, eight. Because each unique ability has like, four different things going on. And she still somehow has less than Hero Videl. I don't fucking, <laughs> fucking, I don't know, man. I don't know how you fuck up a unit so badly that a second anniversary hero unit, one of the last hero units you ever implemented into the game is somehow better. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. How? Literally, li literally how? <laughs> we were talking about Leafy a lot on stream past few days as well, so now I've got literally stuck in my head. I just, I just don't understand how you fuck up a unit so badly. Like, you, you have to go out of your way to fuck Kale up that much. It wasn't that hard. Just give her a lot of reduced damage, give her some healing, give her endurance. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. Give her, like, a 50% reduced damage outright with an extra, like, 25% cover. Let her heal at the end of every enemy combo and then give her endurance. That's it. Literally, literally that, that, that was her, what her whole kit needed to be. That is literally what her whole kit needed to be. Cause she's not a fucking damage healer. She's not meant to do damage. So by giving this unit that was never designed to do damage offensive abilities, you're just fucking screwing them. I don't know what the, I, I seriously would like someone to try and convince me that Bandai Namco does not have something against women. I don't know why women just can't be in the meta, not, not meta breaking, just exist in the meta. We went over every single, every single uh, girls unit that ever actually had an impact. We had Blue Ribrianne, we had Green Kefla. We had Zenkai 18 for about a month. <laughs> um, Purple 21, forgot about her. We had Purple 21. And Purple 21 made an impact on Regen, not even on the girls team, when she originally came out. So like, that, that, that's it, that's it. Keep in mind, one of them is a unit they have to make good, otherwise they won't summon for them. One of them, is a fucking fighter's collapse, of course it's gonna make her good. 
And then one of them was one of the old school Zenkais in which all of them were broken. And she wasn't special for being broken. The only fucking girls unit, and, and Kef, and why am one of them a fucking fusion? So all four of them had a legitimate reason to be as good as they were. They didn't just decide to be nice to this tag, ever. They've never just legitimately decided to be nice to this damn tag. They're always just like, fuck girls. It's like, we have proven in the past, especially with units like Kefla and Ribrianne, that, Ribrianne especially, that if we make a unit good enough, people will summon, but... Fuck it. Apparently, both the developers and the community don't understand the fact that if a unit is good enough, people will summon regardless of what fucking tags they have. Um, I don't know, they were doing such a great job of rebuilding this tag, too. Like, Green 18 is so actually dumb. Borderline broken, and yet... Then we get Kale, who's the polar opposite, with pr pretty much zero redeeming qualities to her at all, except her debuffs that she can use, that she can apply after popping her main ability. And then maybe her green card. Like, that, that's, that's about it. That's about it. She just sucks, man. She's just terrible. But let me know what you guys think about Kale, I suppose. <sighs> what do you think, Goku? Oh, he, he, he just got nothing to say today. He's just silent today. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> also, why do they hate Universe 6? Because I feel like each Universe 6 Zenkai got worse than the last. I, re I actually liked Khalifla's. I thought she was underrated, but she, she certainly, again, wasn't having a profound impact on the game. Kaba's was terrible, and then Kale's is even worse. <laughs> but at, at least you can use Kaba. Like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Kaba cannot be used in PvP. But I, I will straight up say that Kale cannot be used in PvP. She, she will get incinerated by shit that's suppo that she's supposed to be able to kill and tank. It's just dumb. I, I hate I hate this fucking unit. I hate it. I hate her. She's so bad. She should have been an improvement from the free to play twenty one, the red, the new red one, not worse. Ugh. And speaking of fucking free to play, that new EX seventeen, the Zenkai EX seventeen, not the new one. There is no new one. The, the EX Zenkai seventeen. That fucker went from having one garbage ability, literally having no kit, no kit, to being extremely better, extraordinarily better than Kale. Kale legitimately was a unit when she first came out that, like, people were afraid of her. Like, she was really good. People were afraid of Kale back when she first came out. And now somehow this unit that no one has ever used once in their entire life with no kit at all, somehow became better than one of the more feared units. Imagine that. F fucking imagine that. Imagine when they Zenkai sparking Hercule and he turns out better than, than the Zenkai was, the fucking purple Broly. Admittedly, they could do that. His Zenkai wasn't all that great, so. There's that. Apparently, the most dominant forces in the game's history are the ones most susceptible to the worst Zenkais ever. Whatever. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm a guy out of here. Battle hour tonight. Be there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can. It really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. I will see all of you in the mix back here at the Asylum for the next video. Peace.